Hello and welcome to this demo. We're trying to do something different today at European Utility Week. Uh, um, our friends at iTron have set up, well you can see it, uh, you know, uh, have set up a fantastic demo of something that we've been talking about on our webinars for quite some time, the OpenWay Reva platform. And, and Tim here is going to talk us through it. So I'm going to stop, you talk, uh, apart from I'm, I'm, I'm really excited because I'm going to steal some electricity today. So anyway, off you go Tim. Okay, so what I'm going to show you today is an industry first. Uh, which is distributed intelligence on the end devices solving today's utility problems. And what we mean by distributed intelligence is analyzing, making decisions, and performing actions all the way out at the edge. And this is quite different from the traditional model, which is we have meter, smart meters here, and we have our back office and all we can do is read to the back office and maybe perform some analysis here. In, with today's world, we can do that intelligence wherever it makes most sense across that time. solution and in real time. Okay. And what allows us to do that is our OpenWay Reva technology, which we've just introduced. And of course, the, the question is what's, what's so unique about that? Why is that different? Well, this is a Linux computer. So okay. this is not your, your grandmother's smart meter, which is, oh, go ahead. So, so, so that meter is running on Linux? That's correct. Right, okay. Um, so unlike traditional smart meters up until today, which were really a, 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 you know, a 1990s vintage metering technology with maybe a few features and some communications added, this is instead a computer. What that allows us to do is run multiple applications just like your smartphone. So not, I'm going to tweak a couple features of firmware, I'm going to load an app down, just like you do today when you load apps to your, to your meter. And, and this is one of the issues that we've always been discussing, that, uh, the, uh, that the meters need to be powerful enough to be updated, they need to have the, uh, the right amount of internal storage so they can run these apps and, uh, and things like that. Yes, and, and also, you know, one of the, the issues with firmware-based meters, again, up until today, has been that when I want to add new functionality, I have to change the core infrastructure of that meter, and that's a high-risk thing. We needed to get to where the rest of the IT industry is, like your phone. When I download an app, it's, you're not worried about whether your phone's going to work anymore. Right. Um, so to be practically use the technology, we needed an easy way to get it there. Gotcha. Um, another big difference here with this technology is that we're working on one-second data. So the applications you're going to see are actually communicating and working with one second data to provide to solve these problems. So forget the 15 minute polling and everything, the, the, this truly is real time. Yeah, this truly is real time. And, and that sounds like, well, are we just, is this just a one-upmanship spec thing? We're going to one second, not 15 minutes. No, the, the reason behind that is as we move out truly into the, into the grid, so, you know, to today we've been doing a whole lot of meter reading, but moving to the grid, that 15 minutes or an hour is an eternity from an electrical perspective. A lot happens in 15 minutes or an hour. You need to, to act much more quickly than that. Gotcha. Um, another significant difference here is that these devices support peer-to-peer -peer communications. Okay, so, so they're talking to each other all the time. Yes, right. and so again, fr different from that traditional model where you've got a meter out here and all I can do is read it to my head end and maybe do something here, these meters can talk amongst themselves and say, hey, did you see that? Oh, I saw that. He didn't. Oh, the problem must be right here. And instead of pushing data, pushing true information back, mm -hmm. to, the, back to the utility or in fact recognizing a problem and acting locally. Gotcha. Um, and so this allows us to, as I said, finally uh, move into that distribution grid operation space. And for utilities around the world, that has been a blind spot forever. I worked as a distribution uh, engineer for about 10 years in the, in a, at a utility. And um, that was true back then and true today that when we look out into the uh, into the, the whole infrastructure of, of the utility. It's like a black hole. Yeah, the, that last layer, the, the medium and low voltage, right. is the majority of the infrastructure, but there's not really any view there. Right. Um, and obviously there's operational efficiencies that, from having that viewpoint into there, but also now that we have distributed generation and vehicle charging loads and things that didn't exist before, we have power flows in the distribution system that never existed before that make it really critical beyond just the operational efficiencies to have that mm -hmm. view. Mm -hmm. So 
that. Um, so that's kind of a summary of, of, of what's so different about OpenWay Reva as we talk about distributed intelligence. What I'm going to do is, uh, you look a little bit like a thief. So I'm happy uh, to play the part. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, uh, so I'm going to show you one, uh, one application here. And actually, just to, uh, to, uh, to explain a bit before I jump in there, we have a, a model of uh, a section of our low voltage distribution system here. And what we're showing in our, in our show over the, oh, these few days is a, um, our applications running on the meter that are detecting faults in the low voltage distribution where the meter is actually identifying that and telling the utility that has happened, where we're detecting electrically that theft has occurred. Okay. So no more of the, of the, you know, trying to guess from tamper alarms and forecasting. This is electrically speaking, theft is occurring here. And also, meters working together and managing the load on a transformer. Okay. And uh, the one that we're going to do is we're going to steal some power. Okay. And we're going to see that these well, meters... Well, we aren't, I am. Yes, you yeah, are. Yeah, exactly. I'm going to watch you, but pretend I didn't see it. Okay, good. And uh, we're going to steal some power, and in, uh, you'll see that within a couple minutes, these devices talking amongst themselves and recognizing that there is current flow and fluctuation in that transformer that's not accounted for by any meter will identify their theft happening. So what we have here is the ability on this meter to bypass the meter, to jump around the meter. One of the most common ways of, of stealing power. It's, it's easy because you don't have to modify anything in your wiring. You just jump around the meter. Okay. And so I'm going to get you to be the thief here and put a jump well, around I'm, that I'm, meter. I'm, I'm, I'm rubbing my hands. I, 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 I'm going to get myself some oh. electrons here, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I've done it, Tim. Yes. No one knows about this. No right. one knows about that. If you think of what happens today, right. if you've done a good job of hiding that, yep. that could be there for 20 years, that could be there for life. No one ever knows that happened. Well, right now, those meters are analyzing, they're recognizing that there is load switching, mm -hmm. they're recognizing that there are currents happening in the second of that, secondary of that transformer that aren't accounted for by a meter and that theft is occurring. Okay. And within, because we have load switching here every few seconds, uh, within a minute or two that these devices are going to recognize that theft is occurring and they're going to notify the utility to go arrest you. Okay. And again, we're talking a minute, two right. minutes, three minutes. Um, and, and this is the sort of stuff that, I mean, you said 20 years. I mean, if you were good at it, it could have taken you that amount of yes, time. Yes, the majority of theft out. is never found. Right. Um, right. And so as, as we were looking, oh, in fact, yeah. Right. Okay. You're caught. So, uh, so as we speak, I'm done for. Yes. So yeah. this is a message that came back from those that devices yeah. and said, we are experiencing current in the secondary of this transformer right. with voltage fluctuations that aren't accounted for by currents through the meter. Therefore, someone is stealing power. And by the way, it's happening here. Right. So they can now go out to your home. And, 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 and all of that happened because these meters are so they were actually also communicating with each other. That's correct. Right. So not only are they measuring everything every second, but they're talking amongst themselves and making sure that everything is accounted for. And that's not only the mechanism that they use for recognizing theft, but also the distribution faults and other things that they can, that they can pick up. And they can only do that because they have that ability to have that high resolution data. They have the intelligence on board to be able to analyze it and they have the computing power to make those decisions and, and uh, let you know when that occurred. Right. So can I be really curious, what does that do? Uh, that allows us to generate a fault right. in the distribution network. And so one of the other demonstrations we're showing today of an application is an application that picks up the fact that you have a bad connection in the low voltage, which okay. the utility has never been able to see before. Right. And the meters recognize it's happening. So that's so you, when you've got a fraying in the line or, yes, or, or, yes, or, or, or anything or a like that. Yes, or a crank connection that has come loose. Right. So if I yep. turn that now, what would happen? If you turn that, well, it's the same meter as this theft. Right. So let's... Let's unsteal the electricity. Let's unsteal the, the electricity here. So, so I'm free. Yes. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah. And um, so you're free. And if you go ahead and... If and I if I turn that dial, so, uh, so turn it, just turn it all the way up. We're going to put all a terrible connection in this line. Okay, yeah, so it is terrible. Someone has just 
bumped into the pole right. and or your, our wire and pulled it a little bit loose. Or well, some kids swinging off some it kids and swinging and, off it. And, yeah, I know. and now we've got a bad connection that over time mm. is, well, first it's going to cause voltage problems at the customer. They're right. very hard to identify. Yeah. Every time they turn on their stove, their lights go down. Mm -hmm. um, and then as we, uh, as we move out and that connection gets worse and worse through heating, mm -hmm. it will eventually fail and cause a dangerous condition um, or light a fire. So um, that's what that's. Well, your signals are going crazy here, right? Yeah. So, 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 so that must be it. So, it's a, a <laughs> so that's quite cool. So, so as soon as something happens in what used to be the black hole of the distribution network, you're seeing everything in real time. Yes, and so we are analyzing very carefully at a very high frequency all of the voltages and currents, mm. and simply because there are loads changing in that home, we recognized that when you added that impedance, there were larger voltage fluctuations than there were before with those little currents, and therefore there must have been a bigger impedance. And again, it's just simple physics because we can do it there, yeah. where it would be extremely complex analytics if we tried to do that in the back office. So you've just because we have, we we got to wrap and we've got uh, yeah. we haven't got much time just to finish off. So you've been doing this demo for the last two days now. Correct. And um, I remember when you and I were talking yesterday, you said, I mean, these are someone else's words. You you've been doing these demos to utilities, right? Because yes. that's that's who you're trying to talk to. This this really is a world first, right? This is a world first, and and not only it's it. It really is a, a revolution in terms of, of where smart meters are. So uh, one of the utilities I was talking to uh, yesterday made the comment that when, when uh, 15 years ago when they moved from electromechanical meters to electronic meters, they mm. thought that was a revolution, mm. but that this is 10 times that. Right. So, so these things are really moving away from being billing devices yes. to being intelligent devices. Intelligent devices that one of the things they do is, is billing. And it really an intelligent point of, of presence for the utility at every home is what they are. Well, Tim, thank you very much. Thank I, you. I enjoyed being a thief. Uh, uh, I enjoyed swinging off the yeah. wire as well. Uh, you know, all the alarms are going crazy uh, yeah. uh, on there as well. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this little demo. We thought we'd capture it while we're here at European Utility Week. Um, I, I know that on Engerati, iTron have been talking about OpenWay Reva for a long time, but this is it in action. So I uh, hope you really enjoyed uh, watching this live effectively. Thank you.